guys. We want to welcome you back to another virtual open house. I'm Ashley Yance with Ashley Lay Real Estate and Keller Williams Realty Elite. And if you have any questions at all after this video, please shoot me a text or call at 336-608-1068. Hi, and I'm Sharon McGee, also with Ashley Lay Real Estate, part of Keller Williams Realty Elite. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my listings, 6476 Ridge Road, which is a Davidson County property with 3.3 acres. So if you're looking for space, this is going to be the one. And my direct number, if you need it after you've seen the video, is 336-909-4108. All right, Ashley, let's see if I can pull up the correct screen here. Okay. All right, so there's a picture of the front of the home. Again, the address was 6476 Ridge Road, sitting on 3.3 acres. Um, it doesn't show it in this picture, Ashley, but I want to mention one unique thing is that this property actually has a little bit of income uh, potential. In front of the home, there is a, a mobile home that will be retained by the owner, but his uh, the daughter lives there, and so she'll be willing to pay rent to uh, stay on the property until they can move the trailer to another location sometime in the next year. So it comes with rental income. That's awesome. Yeah. And this house does feature three bed, two bath, and it is also in the Oak Grove School District. Yes. It is. All right, so that first picture there is the family room area, and you can see it goes directly into the uh, kitchen area as well. There's one bedroom directly off the family area, and that bedroom is unique. If you have a mother-in-law staying with you, it's got two heat sources. It has the old uh, radiant heat baseboards as well as the modern HVAC system in there. Yeah, if you're especially if you're cold-natured like me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay super warm in there. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. There's the kitchen. The kitchen area is huge. So it's an eat-in kitchen. Um, all of the appliances stay. They're all new stainless steel appliances. Um, so they'll stay. He's done a new backsplash with uh, behind there. So a lot of updates there. Oh, and back here, there are two, the two doors back there are two different pantries. So double pantries. Lots of storage. Yes. Yeah. Here's the master bedroom, which has its own private sunroom. There's no other access to the sunroom other than the master bedroom. So lots you of can, privacy. You can really see how big um, that room is just with the furniture. I mean, that's some pretty bulky furniture. It's and huge furniture. Have, yeah. And it still has room. Yeah. yeah. There's back to the family room. Uh, there's a wood stove in there that will stay with the house. So you have options on heating if the power goes out. Awesome. Here's a back view of the kitchen. That's the first bedroom that has that radiant heat up there. You can see it in that one. Nice. As you come in, there's a second door off the front porch that comes directly into the wash area where you've got washer and dryer access and cabinetry across from that or folding. There's the second bathroom with lots of storage in there. Yeah, I was going to say on this um, left side, there's a whole different counter space for anything yeah. you need. So this house mm -hmm. has a ton of storage. Ton of storage. There's the uh, sitting room that walks into the master bedroom. That hallway, the steps go into that master bedroom. So it's got its own like TV sitting room, private from the rest of the house. So that's neat. You don't usually see that much anymore. Mm -mm, no. Yeah, it'd be nice, especially in the corona. So you've got your own living room oh. to hide out in. <laughs> yeah, and you have your own sunroom, so you can just have your little <laughs> yeah. area. Yeah, see the rest of the family. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, the master suite does have its own, own private bathroom. You can see a glimpse of it through that open door there. Awesome. There's another look at it. Still the master bathroom. bathroom. There's another angle from that. There's a great picture of the sunroom. It is so pretty out there. I say I love that. I'd probably spend most of my time. I'd make an office out there, actually. I would too. That'd be my own private place. Nobody allowed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the downstairs office. It does count in the uh, square footage of the home because it has its own uh, access. It doesn't go through any unfinished space to get there. I love that wall between the wood and the brick. That's really pretty. I know it looks like Joanna Gaines has been down there already. Yep. <laughs> I'd paint it white though. Yep. Um, this is the basement area. It is heated and cooled. It's just not completely finished, so we can't count it in the square footage. 
but what a great place to send teenagers so they can play their video games you don't have to worry about them if they spill something it doesn't matter because it's not completely finished yep send them and their friends or you can use and all that extra space for storage too well there's even more storage that's unfinished down here that doesn't even include that wow Okay, this is the thing that we don't show in the video walkthrough that everybody needs to pay attention to. If you are a mechanic and you need a garage to work in or have your business in, this is it. This garage is heated and cooled, has its own power source, and um, will hold up to 10 cars to be worked on. Wow. Yeah, it's a great space. There's a view from the front porch where you can see the garage. It's a really big porch. Yeah, this is the back deck that looks back over the acreage behind, and it's all fenced in in the back. So if you wanted horses, dogs, any animal, you can have it. Yeah, once again, guys, 3.3 .3 acres. It's very big. There you can see the whole back of the house, the addition that was put on. Nice. Gazebo. Is that a little fire pit in the middle? No, it's not. It used to be a water feature. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, beneath the house, they've actually got a, a bar area back there. That's nice. Not a full kitchen, but, and there's an aerial view of the top of the house. Wow. So yeah, great space. All right, let's see if I can get the video up and we can walk through that. Perfect. All right. Again, that's that front room that we talked about before. Yeah, that wooden stove is a nice feature, especially if the power goes out. Yeah. Nice to have. Like that storm that went through the other morning and knocked everybody's power out. Right. It was a cold day, you'd have options. <laughs> Wow, that kitchen is really big. <laughs> it really is. It used to all be one big room and he put the wall dividing the space a little bit so that it wasn't just even bigger feeling than it is now. Right. In the bedroom, I hope, I can't remember in the video, I think we go into the other bedroom next, but that carpet in there is brand new. The carpet in the second bedroom and the carpet in that downstairs office are both brand new. Awesome. Yeah, that's brand new carpet in there. The double pantry is nice. It really is. It's nice to have, especially with all the cabinets too. Mm -hmm. You got built in shelves, shelves and bookshelves back there. Awesome. Yeah. I like the steps walking up. <laughs> I do because it really makes it feel like it's a different space. Yeah. There's a master bedroom. Yep. And if anybody falls in love with that furniture that he's got, because it is such a nice big room, he's willing to sell it. So. Nice. And you don't find furniture like that anymore either. No, mm -mm, not solid wood. <laughs> he probably just don't want to move it. <laughs> he really doesn't. No. <laughs> and he's not going to have as big of a house on his next one. He's yeah. going to downsize. So. <laughs> and here's our favorite room, Ashley. Yeah, I love that. Oh, I do too. I just like houses with a bunch of lighting. You can't go wrong. Mm -mm, no, you can't. Especially being stuck inside right now. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's pretty secluded back there too, since it's facing the back. It is, yeah. So Lots of privacy in the backyard. Yeah. That door is the one that leads down to the basement to the other office room.
we're coming out of the master bedroom suite area and down the hallway and you go straight through that doors into the garage and the second bathroom is here on this side look at all that storage it even has a place to hang clothes up above it that's awesome mm -hmm. put your towels and stuff in there mm-hmm Kind of nice too, because you can come in from the outside and go directly into a bathroom without tracking everything through your house. That's true. You need to get cleaned up. You have your own little cabinet space for the laundry room, and you can do your folding and stuff right mm -hmm. there. Yep. Store all your laundry detergents, everything's out of the way. Yeah. That's nice. And that door there is the one that goes down into the basement. <laughs> So, it wouldn't take much to finish off that basement, then it would count as square footage, you know. All you'd have to do is put a ceiling in, you're there. Wow. And back behind those stairs that we just came down, there's a whole other room that's nothing but storage. Wow. Mm -hmm. The sliding glass doors go to that office that we saw a minute ago. All that duct work is brand new. He just replaced it about a year ago. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is that office space again? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all that's brand new carpeting. Then that door goes out to the private uh, deck back there that's underneath the sunroom. I love that wall. <laughs> I do, I really do. All I want to do is paint white though. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody goes for those accent walls now, so that's perfect. Yeah, they do. That's the garage there that we saw upstairs a minute ago. And then here's the back deck that you've got that you can grill. There are water features there. There's a water fountain and then a bigger water feature below the deck. <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of entertainment space too. Yeah. And that, what you called, I think we were talking earlier, the plank that you saw there leading off the deck <laughs> is gone now. <laughs> He'd set that up for his grandchildren, a play center for them, but it's yeah. disassembled now and the railing fixed. There's so much space. I love that gazebo out there. Oh, I know. I do too. You have under the sunroom some more seating area. Mm hmm. There's an old barn back there and you could use for storage as well. So it's lots of space. If somebody's looking for it in the Oak Grove School District, that'd be the place to go. Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's a wrap guys. Thanks for joining us. And once again, if you have any questions, my number is 336-608-1068. Okay. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye.